Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Let's continue through the Passage of the Eidolons. And get float on everyone, as always. One of the enemies in here can actually use a Earthquake-type spell against you, so that's another reason to use that in this dungeon. Kind of odd that they would put that right there in the same dungeon where you need to cast float all the time. Because you'll already be prepared for it, but, well, whatever works. So, for those who uh, didn't watch the last episode, I already got all the treasures on the right there. And completed the map now. So, we're taking the left path this time to move on. Oh, a Salma drop. I think I got one before that I didn't use, too. I keep on forgetting about those. Let's see, where are they? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I got, like, four of them, and I haven't used them yet. Uh, let's see. Let, yeah, I'll give him the edge. You could save them to carry over into a new game plus and, like, give them to Tala or something if you wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. But I do want to recast Float again. Make sure, sure we don't get hurt by the lava. Why would they have lava on each floor of this place and they pull down to the lower floors or something? I don't know. But I do know that we've got some more new enemies here. Uh, we've got imps who can uh, charm or confuse your characters. And then we've got the fell knight there who just likes to use regular attacks. Now you want to be careful with the imps because if you attack them they can counter it with charm or something like that. Actually, you know what? Let's choose a dragon summon or something. So yeah, let Cecil just sit back, defend while you're countering them, and let Kane take care of the rest, or Rydia. Not that they have an elemental weakness, I don't think. I know there's one other enemy that I didn't meet up with yet that... Uh, is weak to holy. I forget which one it was. Well, whatever. But, alright. Got a couple more levels there. Awesome. Let's see. Cecil took quite a beating there. And we're all set and ready to go to move on. Wonder what treasure they're gonna have this time around. Some pretty good stuff, I'll tell ya. But not yet. For now, we just got high potions. Oh well. Make sure to get the little bit of the map there. Okay. One thing you could do with these side areas, like the Sylph Cave and the Passage of the Eidolons, you could save them for later in the game and with less party members, and you could get a lot more experience per character because it splits. I don't think that's really necessary, but you could do that if you wanted to get more experience. Now, let's see. Oh, by the way, in the last battle that I did off screen, I met up with those imps again. Apparently, they are weak to holy, so using the dragon summon would be a good idea. Most of the enemies here don't have elemental weaknesses, though. Yeah, it's about that point in the game where, okay, we've given you enemies with elemental weaknesses. Now we're going to ramp up the difficulty a bit. Ah, oh, come on. Where did I miss a piece? Okay, well, hold on, viewers, while I look around to find where I missed a big part of the map. Okay, well, while trying to find that part of the map that I somehow missed, I don't know how, we met up with the summoner. And, well, they summon monsters that you can meet up with uh, elsewhere in the dungeon. In this case, we have an Arachne. They are weak to ice, so Shiva would be a good way to go. So would Kane with the Avenger and the uh, Adrenaline Augment. But, well, there you are. There's another enemy that the summoner can, well, summon around here. So I'm going to be walking around looking for that guy too anyway while I'm trying to fill out my map. I don't know where I missed anything. There it is! I don't know what I was missing. I didn't even see anything on the map there, but... Well, I finally found it. 
Okay, well, the other enemy that I can meet up with on this floor is a Nagaraha, or however you pronounce it, I don't know. But you can meet up with them in the next dungeon we're going to, so I'm not going to worry about it. it. It can be summoned by a summoner, potentially, but, well, they're not around. I can't find the summoner who has that enemy, so... Or I can meet up with the other new enemy that in this dungeon. Oh, uh, yeah, we might want to uh, defend. <laughs> oh, wait, they're only going to target Cecil with that. Right. Never mind. But I mean, these are Thunder Dragons. Thunder Zords? No. No. Not th Zords. They're not robots. But they are susceptible to being petrified. So what I want to do is uh, get Cura on Cecil there. Since they only use the lightning attacks on you, and they only attack Cecil, having some diamond gear would help against them. But, alright! But yeah, I'm not going to worry about the Nagaraha. We can meet up with him later. So, uh, Thunder Dragons are usually somewhat uncommon to meet up with in the dungeon. You can even meet up with them on the third floor here. Same thing with the Arachnes, so make sure... You cast Float, so that way they can't Earthquake you to death. That, that would be bad. Now we're at the last floor of this place where they have the real treasure that we're looking for. Huh. Something I didn't realize last time uh, against the Blood Eye enemy that I showed off before. They actually drain HP with their physical attack. I didn't know that. Not that it's a big deal, but it's there. What is a big deal is a secret passage. Now we finally get our reward for trudging through that area. Or part of the reward. A poison axe. And a new Kikuichi Manji sword. We'll give that one to Edge there since it's better than what he's already got. And the poison axe I want to save. Actually, can I give it to Cecil right now? Yeah, I can. Okay, I'll just give it to you. But I do want to save that also for Kane later on, because I'm going to want to take off the Avenger on him. I don't want him to be berserked all the time. Besides, I can always berserk him later. Either with the spell or a Bacchus wine. So, whichever way you want to go. You can steal Bacchus wines from some enemies in the game, like Ogres, back at the uh, Lodestone Cavern. At least that's the way it was in the 2D version. I don't know. Maybe they changed it. I don't think their draft tables were changed, though. Most of the enemies kept the same draft tables. Except, like, big things like dragons. Or the flans. They also had their draft tables changed, but... Okay. But anyway, let's see. Now, the center area is, well, where we're going to go next. That's the end of the dungeon. But I don't want to do that just yet. Let's go here... Yeah, I wasn't sure if the secret passage was over here or not, because I, I thought they changed some of the tunnels around here a little bit. So, let's head on up here first, before going to the next part of this area. Alright, last treasure. And this one contains monsters that are with the defender. Alright, beat him. That was just uh, two Fel Knights and an Imp, so pretty easy. Uh, let's see, so we got the Defender, so I want to give that to Cecil. Not only does it boost his defense stat by 20, and that's huge, but you also get a boost in a lot of other stats as well. Actually, it's more so because the Axe drops some of your stats, actually, but the Defender, that's the way to go. Um, also, it's just... Oh, it's just as strong. Okay, I was going to say it was stronger, but... No, the Poison Axe is a little stronger, but I like the Defender on Cecil because, well, he's tanking. That's what he does. So, okay, done there. Let's head on to the end of this area, then. Alright, almost there. Oh, there's a little bit of map over there that I missed, almost. Phew. Let's see, there's a Teleporter or Warp Point. Game? I almost had it complete. And I'm almost at the end there, too. Ooh, more summer drops. Nice. What is a summer drop anyway? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I'll just give that to Edge. It doesn't really matter who you give them to. MP is, like, never an issue in this game. 
which I like. So where are we? The Fame Mark at last. Or Fame March, or however you want to pronounce it. And this is where Rydia was for like half the game. Well, maybe more like a quarter, but whatever. Why would they be? Ah, well, yeah, I guess they are monsters. They actually belong in this world. Sure, why not? Yeah, that is true. Even me. Hey, how's it going? They're monsters, but they just wear cloaks all the time, so we won't notice. Hey, okay, how's it going? Thank you. I wonder why we're the only ones. You'd figure, with all the Eidolans here, you know, people would want to meet them or something. But anyway, we go through a secret pass- well, not a secret passage, but a secret portal that they don't have all lit up like all the other ones. And then you can get some hidden treasure. If I can open them. And a Yuichi bow there. Uh, it's the strongest bow in the game except for... Uh, what is it? Uh, except for the Artemis bow, which can only be one. It's like an ultra rare drop. And by the way, that white portal below the pink one there, that one can take us... Uh, it can warp you out of the area entirely. So you don't need to cast Exit or something like that. Hmm, well, maybe I ought to meet him. Maybe he can help us. It was what Rydia was saying before. I like how they have the lower tiers of this area in the background there like that. It's a nice touch. Well, yeah, that's what Rydia said. That's what she said. But anyway, go around that portal and we can get the Rat Tail. Hmm, wasn't there someone who was looking for tails or collecting them or something? I thought there was someone with that. Hmm. Well, remember that for later, viewers. Spoiler alert, we're going to be going back to that guy with the rat tail. Okay, let's go. Yeah, you're a monster. I didn't think monsters spoke English. Maybe we have a universal translator. Who knows? Well, anyway, we got an inn here that I believe is actually reasonably priced. And, you know what? I think I'm going to rest up here. Let's do that. Even though Kane won't have his low HP, I actually want it that way. I want him to have full HP for, like, boss fights and stuff. So, yeah, we won't be able to take advantage of Adrenaline, usually. Well, it seemed to work on others. Ha uh ha. -huh. I like how they just talk about all the other summons as though they're like next door neighbors or something. <laughs> but anyway, this house here is actually a little different between different versions of the game. In the DS version, this is where I believe White, or the Rydia summon White, would have been. But since it's uh, they got rid of that, we got someone else here. What's going on? Oh. Sure, why not? So anyway, this is part of a side quest to get another uh, augment, I believe. So basically, what you're supposed to do is talk to this guy. He'll give you a hint as to where one of these other Eidolon guys are. And then you report back to him, and he gives you another hint. I'm not going to be doing it that way. I'm just going to go around and collect them as we go. But we can't do much about that for now. Like, that hint was obviously Kaipo, but we can't do anything. We can't get to Kaipo right now. So, hey, how's it going, Moping Way? Ha ha. <laughs> Pudding lover. Cool. Oh. Um, sure, why not? Oh, do I have to actually type this in, like, on my keyboard? Let's see, okay. I'll use that name. So, oh, I have to press enter? Or, no? Okay, there we go. 
So that's a nickname I have for my love. Well, sounds like a plan. Now, the name you type in there will affect another augment that you get later on in the game. So, not that it, the name matters at all, but it's there. I mean, as far as, like, functionality and stuff, it doesn't, it's not like Dragon Quest where your name can influence your stats or something. But it is a really good augment. And anyway, while we're here, let's go buy some new stuff. Or, well, actually, I'm not buying any weapons. That's what the dwarves said. Okay, yeah, there's no weapons, but I do want to get armor, which is actually at a separate shop on the other side of town, so we're going to have to walk around for that. Well, yeah, look at what Golbez is doing. Did that thing glow? Huh. There's that little tile there. Huh. I thought it was like another teleporter that I just didn't know about all these years. Huh. Whatever. We do have a good reason. We're kind of saving the world. Th that would be a problem. Well, I mean, bad guys trying to take over the world, but... Anyway, okay, so I do want to get an Aegis Shield, which, unfortunately, only Cecil can equip now. So, King can't equip it anymore. But I do want to get a Luminous Robe. At first, I thought that said Religious Robe, but no, that wouldn't be right. So, let's give that to her. Just mostly for the defensive boost, not even the uh, intellect boost. I don't care about that. And, Cecil, I want you... On the Age of Shield. So, actually, you know what? Let's just go over my equipment here right now. As long as I'm doing all this. Okay, you're good. I'm going to change my setup a bit here for some upcoming stuff. Let's see. Got that. Diamond. Giants. Okay, that's all good. Rydia, you've got all your good stuff there. Excellent. Now, Kane, I actually want to put on the Poison Axe there. Because that'll be a little stronger. And I can just berserk him again later anyway. So. And let's see. You've got all your good stuff there. Good. Oh. No. Uh, edge. Yeah, you got the two blades. And strength boosting stuff there. So. Alright. That sounds like a plan. Hey. How's it going? Okay. Well, that's everything we can do around here, but now there's one more building for us to go through, and that's this one. The library. Went to a Sylvan library before, now we're in an Eidolon library. I liked Sylvan library back in the day. What information do they got here? Oh, um, that was the, uh, Chocobo. There you go. Sorry, I went through that a little too quickly. I like how they have just little information about all the idolons that you've gotten throughout the game and everything like that. Lightning Justice. The only way to go. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, what's that? Oh, no. This one. Inferno! Or Inferno. The Inferno Inferno. The Infernal Disco Fer Inferno. Whatever. Yeah, I and mean, Rhea do that, summoning him at five years old. Or six, or however old she was at the time. I think technically she was like, what, eight or something? I don't know. Whatever. Well then, how did you ever get summoned? Without people to summon you. Hmm. Sure, why wouldn't we have? Yeah, just use it, like, every battle to kill all the bad monsters. Hmm, I wonder. Remember that for later, viewers. That'll be important. Ah, he's not that powerful. Hmm, I wonder what that means. So you want to remember that for later, too. 
Hmm. I wonder why there's two now. Eh, it's probably not important. I wouldn't worry about it. Hmm. How powerful could he possibly be? Hmm, I wonder. Remember that for later, too. That's why I'm going through all this, because, well, there's little hints for uh, these idolments here. And you'll need them later on. Oh, yeah, the selves. They're summons, too? Huh. Why didn't they help us out? What gives? I feel like I'm being dipped here. Okay, well, anyway, those stairs down there will take you to... Uh, the, uh, to, uh, well, the king and queen of the Eidolons there, but I'm not ready for that yet. So let's just uh, head on back up here and save. Can we prove our strength to the king and queen of the Eidolons to help us out? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!